Question 85.13. Questioner, I think that the statement that was made when we were speaking about the service to others path was incorrect. Would you check that please? Answer, I am Ra. May we ask that you be apprised of our intention to have spoken of the service to self path as the path of that which is not. Question 85.14. Questioner, I am interested in the problem that we sometimes have with the transmission since the word others was used three times in this transmission rather than the word self. Could you give me an idea of this problem which could create a discrepancy in communication? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, we may note the clumsiness of language and our unfamiliarity with it in our native, shall we say, experience. Secondly, we may point out that once we have miscalled or misnumbered an event or thing, the referent is quite likely to be reused for some transmission time, as you call this measurement, due to our original error having gone undetected by ourselves. Question 85.15 Questioner, thank you. Do you have use of all the words in the English language and, for that matter, all of the words in all of the languages that are spoken on this planet at this time? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 85.16. Questioner, I have a question here from, name. It states, as we see compassion developing in ourselves is it more appropriate to balance this compassion with wisdom or to allow the compassion to develop as much as possible without being balanced? Answer, I am Ra. This query borders upon that type of question to which answers are unavailable due to the free will prohibitions upon information from teach learners. To the student of the balancing process we may suggest that the most stringent honesty be applied. As compassion is perceived it is suggested that, in balancing, this perception be analyzed. It may take many, many essays into compassion before true universal love is the product of the attempted opening and crystallization of this all-important springboard energy center. Thus the student may discover many other components to what may seem to be all-embracing love. Each of these components may be balanced and accepted as part of the self and as transitional material as the entity's seat of learned teaching moves ever more clearly into the green ray. When it is perceived that universal love has been achieved the next balancing may or may not be wisdom. If the adept is balancing manifestations it is indeed appropriate to balance universal love and wisdom. If the balancing is of mind or spirit there are many subtleties to which the adept may give careful consideration. Love and wisdom, like love and light, are not black and white, shall we say, but faces of the same coin if you will. Therefore, it is not, in all cases, that balancing consists of a movement from compassion to wisdom. We may suggest at all times the constant remembrance of the density from which each adept desires to move. This density learns the lessons of love. In the case of wanderers there are half-forgotten overlays of other lessons and other densities. We shall leave these considerations with the questioner and invite observations which we shall then be the most happy to respond to in what may seem to be a more effectual manner. Question 85.17 Questioner, what changes of functions of the mind, body, spirits were most effective in producing the evolution desired due to the veiling process? Answer, I am Ra. We are having difficulty retaining clear channel through this instrument. It is a safe margin of transferred energy but is experiencing pain flares. May we ask that you repeat the query as we have better channel now? Question 85.18 Questioner, after the veiling process certain veiled functions or activities must have been paramount in creating evolution in the desired polarized directions. I was just wondering which of these had the greatest effect on polarization? Answer, I am Ra. The most effectual veiling was that of the mind. Question 85.19 Questioner, I would like to carry that on to find out what specific functions of the mind that were most effectual and the three or four most effective changes brought about to create the polarization. Answer, I am Ra. This is an interesting query. The primary veiling was of such significance that it may be seen to be analogous to the mantling of the earth over all the jewels within the earth's crust, whereas previously all facets of the creator were consciously known. After the veiling, Almost no facets of the Creator were known to the mind. Almost all was buried beneath the veil. 
if one were to attempt to list those functions of mind most significant in that they might be obeyed in polarization, one would need to begin with the faculty of visioning, envisioning, or far-seeing. Without the veil the mind was not caught in your illusory time. With the veil space-time is the only obvious possibility for experience. Also upon the list of significant veiled functions of the mind that would be that of dreaming. The so-called dreaming contains a great deal which, if made available to the conscious mind and used, shall aid it in polarization to a great extent. The third function of the mind that which is significant and which has been veiled is that of the knowing of the body. The knowledge of and control over the body, having been lost to a great extent in the veiling process, is thusly lost from the experience of the seeker. Its knowledge before the veiling is of small use. Its knowledge after the veiling, and in the face of what is now a dense illusion of separation of body complex from mind complex, is quite significant. Perhaps the most important and significant function that occurred due to the veiling of the mind from itself is not in itself a function of mind but rather is a product of the potential created by this veiling. This is the faculty of will or pure desire. We may ask for brief queries at this time. Although there is energy remaining for this working, we are reluctant to continue this contact, experiencing continual variations due to pain flares, as you call this distortion. Although we are unaware of any misgiver material we are aware that there have been several points during which our channel was less than optimal. This instrument is most faithful but we do not wish to misuse this instrument. Please query as you will. Question 85.20 Questioner, I will just ask in closing, is an individualized portion or entity of Ra inhabiting the instrument's body for the purpose of communication? Then, is there anything that we could do to improve the contact or to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. We have Ra communicate through narrow band channel through the violet ray energy center. We are not, as you would say, physically indwelling in this instrument, rather, the mind, body, spirit complex of this instrument rests with us. You are diligent and conscientious. The alignments are excellent. We leave you rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, my friends, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the infinite love and the ineffable light of the one creator. I am Ra. Adonai.